was that explosion? What explosion? Evie. Piece of Eden detonated and took the lab with it. The magic lump of hyperbolic metal. I'm shocked. Simply because you have never valued the pieces does not All mean... went according to plan, hmm? <clears throat> There was a slight complication. How slight? The lab exploded. Jacob. You derailed a train. Oh, he did. Did he? Well, the train derailed and I happened to be on it. I killed my target. Brewster is also no more. Then all in all a successful mission in spite of you two. What about London? What about it? We're wasting our time out here. You know as well as I do that London has been the domain of the Templars for the last hundred years. They are far too strong yet. Patience. But the Templars have found a new piece of Eden. Sir David is dead. They do not know how to use it. The Council shall guide us. Sound advice that your father would have seconded. I shall see you back in Crawley. Patience, Evie. Ah. Oh. The gentle sound of opportunity passing us by. So what's stopping us? London is waiting to be liberated. Forget Crawley. Father would have wanted us to listen. Oh, Father, you could continue his legacy in London. Freeing future generations from a city ruled by Templars. You know, Jacob Fry. You might just be right. Then shall we? Yes. Let's. Onward to London. Sean and Rebecca. I still think attacking a Templar is a mistake. Call Dr. Grammatica. <sighs> Come on. Who is a pal? What a lovely surprise. Our mutual friends will be here shortly to search for the artifact. Once it's located, I'll let you know. Super. Always a pleasure. Prick. It's people like you that give historians a bad name. I'm afraid I don't have time for you today, Mr. Hastings. Thank you for making my job easy. Oh, shit. It does look grim. Masterberg, Agent Acosta. Deal with them, please. Move it! Hunt them down! All they had to do was wait for you to search the data. Their little stunt has put the whole operation at risk. You need to synchronize Jacob and Evie's memories. Find something that puts us ahead of the enemy. Time is of the essence, and lives are now clearly on the line. Good luck. I've never seen so many people all at once. <laughs> the churning seas of London. It's just the way Father described. Now, to find Henry Green and formulate a plan of attack against the Templars. Who's Mr. Green again? The assassin watching over London. Did you not listen the first three times? Listen to what? <laughs> <gasps> Oi, watch it. Ben pardon, sir. Oi! Come back here, you filthy dipper! What's 
That's all that. Moment there. in London, I suppose. Fine, you little mobsman. Keep it. Well, well. What do we have here? You're on our property. <laughs> does London have to offer? Now is not the time for tourism, Jacob. Now's the time to find Henry Green. I've always been the quicker climber, haven't I? Not since we were two. Race it to the highest vantage point. You're going to lose again. Not on my watch. shop located. It was marked on Father's map. Two assassins. Equal in height. One female, one male. Two decades old, and those devilish smiles. You must be the Fry Twins. And you are? Henry Green, at your service. I was sorry to learn about your father's passing. Thank you. What can you tell us about Crawford Starrick? I suppose the Council desires news. London must be freed to provide a better future for all of its citizens. Well, thank goodness the Council saw reason and sent you to aid us. Yes. Thank goodness. Unfortunately, I am the bearer of bad news. Today, Starrick sits at the helm of the most sophisticated Templar infrastructure known in the Western world. Every class, every borough, the gangs, the industries, his reach extends all across London. I've always thought of myself as a gang leader. Firm, but fair. Huh. Well, I have uniforms, and I'll unite a mix of disenfranchised outsiders under one name. That's it, Evie. We can rally them to our side. Oh, like the way that you rallied those car players at the Oakbrook Tavern into the river. Oh, that was different. They beat me at whist. I can see it now. We'll call ourselves the Rooks. You were never good at chess, either. Have you got a better plan? Find the piece of Eden. Oh, well, let me show you the lay of the land. Shall we? Climb the chimney and see all of London for yourself. Look at what Starrick has done to the city. Whitechapel is riddled with crime. Child labor, despite regulations. A gang known as the Blighters overruns the streets, and Templars manipulating behind the scenes. As in all the other boroughs, we need to return this city to the people who built it in the first place. We will free London from Starrick. You have my word. Am I looks? Miss Fry, your passion is inspiring. Come, let us return to my shop and I can bring you up to date on the rest.
Haylock's looking for me. One of Starrick's gang leaders. Why does he want you? He's after some of my more arcane research into one of the precursor artifacts. The piece of Eden. So tell me about these blighters. In search of an army, Starrick gathered up the nastiest of the underworld. Some of the city's gangs tried to prevent it and were slaughtered for their efforts. Now, only Whitechapel's clinkers remain opposed, but they're no match for the blighters. Well, let's shine these clinkers up then, shall we? They're just the sort we're looking for. You can't be Evie, they're ready to fight and oppose the blighters. This is my chance to step in. Look out, London. Here come the rooks. this city no one looks where they're going yes I've noticed that bloody drood I'll never finish it at this rate only Providence knows where those words are headed now well I must get to work replacing them should you ever be in the mood for a tale or two you can always find me where the ale is warm and tempers are hot ta-ta what an odd man that mr. Fry was Charles Dickens knows everyone and everything in the city. If I were you, I would keep that connection in your back pocket. <clears throat> Kalok's gang is nearby. They must not follow me back to my shop. We'll take care of it. Here. You might be able to use this. Oh, God, I hope so. My carriage is nearby. Make use of it to throw them off my trail. I will meet you at the curio shop. That's the way. We need to lead them away from green. Here comes trouble. Their carriages are easily damaged. Caleb will rue the day. to return to Mr. Green. Aye, aye, Captain. You're relentless. That relentlessness will see me become master when we finish this. George would do nothing of the sort. Whatever's left of the Creed would perish under your control. Harsh words, dear sister. I do hope Mr. Green made it back safely. Don't tell me you fancy the bloke already. And what do you suggest we do if our number one source of information turns up dead? Starrick can't be that hard to find. I say we turn the carriage round and go find him. This is why you aren't in charge. Fine, girl. Let's go. Did you give them the slip? We gave them more than that. <laughs> Who are all these people? Over the years, I have established a number of connections across the city. Splendid. We'll need focused aid. Focused aid? <sighs> we take over Starek's gangs, we cripple his control. You're not aiming high enough. Starrick has influence in every branch of society. We need to match him. I see what you're saying, Evie. We need the Rooks. You are not starting a gang called the Rooks. I believe I may have an idea of my own. We will need the police to turn a blind eye to our activities. My ally in the force, Sergeant Abilene. I've heard he's a master of disguise. Next up, urchins. 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 Children make for excellent spies. Clara O'Day. Smart as a whip, that one. Finally, you would be wise to remember that Starrick never acts alone. 
There are gang leaders in every borough. You'll meet them soon enough, no doubt. Rexford Kaylock, known for his ability to vanish before your very eyes. Should we make him vanish for real? I suppose. One moment. Um, a Templar target you might want to look into. Uh, be cautious. It's rough out there. No, don't worry about me, Greeny. I can handle a few thugs. What's the plan, then, oh mighty planner? You're the one with the grand ideas. The gangs, the fights, even the outfits you'll wear. Perhaps you should lead the way. If you insist. Keep moving. Steady on. Keep moving. Good, sir. We want this to come into the blighter's hands without harm. No mishaps.
as we should alert the police. How many crates do we have left to distribute? Only about a dozen, sir. Excellent. Soon all of London's blighters will be armed to the teeth. No bobbies in sight. Good. Distribute the dynamite, then, and carefully. Very good, sir. We want this to come into the blighter's hands without harm. No mishaps. Right. There's a very good reason indeed. Hey, him. a good horse. You are. Whoa, easy. What is this place? It's nice to meet you both at last. This is Babylon Alley. Here we make it our business to know the streets and provide children with the opportunity to control their own destinies. Clara, Mr. Green said we might be able to help one another. In exchange for our services, we ask a small favor. Well, why not? You seem to have taken most of my money. Why not take a small favor, too? There are several factories about the city that are powered almost entirely by child labor. Those children work long hours with little pay, and most are not permitted even to leave the factory grounds. They suffer terribly. I need you to save them. A small favor. In return, we offer you intelligence, something you clearly need. Oh, hold on a minute. I'm late for an appointment. What are these terms? We accept. <laughs> Pleasure doing business with you. I come over there! 
Chatter and more work. Next one to utter a word, spend the night. Next week, and we are far behind schedule.
bloody children. They seem cheap, but you must replace a brat every other week. <laughs> spent the night chained to the fence. Every other week. I don't want to 
Now. Talk very much. Hey. He's a strange one, and long was that. I never saw you getting off swearing. Blood and children. Chatter and more work. Next one to utter a word, spend the night chained to the fence. Quiet now. You'll be all right. Oh, thank you. with you. Thank <laughs> you. 
I don't see Mr. Abelheim. Well, we tried. I may know a thing or two about that splendid fellow you're talking about. What's this? Are you trying to blow the gaff? What? Sergeant Abelheim, at your service. I presume you're the Fry Twins Green mentioned. I was expecting you to be a policeman. I was expecting you to be discreet. Henry Green said that you could help us go unnoticed. This is how it will work. I will give you the names of criminal gang members. You will bring them back to me. Quietly. Oh, we'll be as quiet as an old lady. A very hairy, strange old lady that looks a lot like a policeman. your gob. Meet my blade. What is it that you think I've done? Collecting rent from people who don't owe you a shilling. Yeah, me and half the richies in this bloody city. You gonna kidnap them too? Shh. Not one word. Is that trouble? Get off me! Piss off! Oi! Shut your gob. Meet my blade. What is it that you think I've done? Collecting rent from people who don't owe you a shilling. Yeah, me and half the richies in this bloody city. Gonna... Yeah, me and half the richies in this bloody city. You gonna kidnap them too? Whew. 
that's the way. <laughs> Glad to see him behind bars. Thank you.
I've been treated so unjustly. This city. Oh, you you want me to beg? Let me go. Let me. Must be one of the clinkers. Good place to start. You seem to want my employer's attention, Mr. Fry. Oh, I positively crave it. But you'll do for now. As you like. You ain't no lost to humanity. I'll you get won't to be the bottom of this. No more trouble. This can be a right chore. Real <sighs> this can be what a break. Ah, there you are. All that stands between you and Whitechapel is the villain controlling the borough. Kaylock has demanded you settle the claim for territory in a gang fight. His loss? <laughs> yeah. I'm sure you can put this to better use than I can. Oh, what's this, Greeny? Assassin Christmas. <laughs> Gather your allies.
Mr. Rexford Kaylock has agreed to your terms and waits for you at the Whitechapel train station. He's bet his train on the fight. No Kaylock. Hmm. No matter. Attack! <laughs> appears to be broken. Oh well, at least we have a train now. It's not all bad. is 
dead. Whitechapel is no longer in the hands of the blighters. You now have the chance to join our ranks. We welcome all who would stand up to Starrick and his cutthroats. Welcome to the Rooks. <laughs> ah, you bastard. I'd rather throw myself to the tracks than run Bertha another mile for that doughty bow bag. Kaylock? <laughs> He's left the station. Mel, hello, fancy pants. How do you make you I'm Evie be... Fry, and this is my brother, Jacob Fry. Pleased to meet you. I'm Agnes McBean. A delight. I thought I was getting a promotion. I suppose I'm out of work now. Come work for us instead. <laughs> I won't bail your heat. You pay better than scraps? Oh, I'm sure we can at least match that. <laughs> then may I present to you Agnes and Bertha, lady and locomotive, at your service. I'll be in the next car. A hideout on the rails? What an excellent idea. Yes, it all worked out rather well. Now, I would like to follow up a lead on... Jacob? Is this serious? I'm not doing anything until this gets fixed. I believe I know someone who can help with that. I knew you would, Greeny. You know, a mite of money goes a mickle bit in this city. Think of the power of good you can do with the purse you bring. You talk of a store in London. Well, now's your chance. That there map shows you... Thank you. 